Okay, good morning. I am heading to Sparkleberry Swamp this morning. Uh, Palmetto paddlers are having a uh, guided paddle there, and I thought it was a good idea because I don't know that area, and this is an opportunity for me to get to know, um, you know, the, my way around because if you've seen my videos, you know that I'm like completely lost in that swamp. I never know where the hell I'm going. So this is an opportunity to find out maybe where that that floating house is or some of the cabins and maybe the, um, you know, where they stop on land because there doesn't seem to be any land anywhere. So I'm going to give it a give it a go and I should know a little bit more after today. So uh, I'll be reporting in. Okay, here we are at... Sparkleberry Landing. Yes. We are with Palmetto Paddlers. We've got Ann over there. And what is your name again? Mike. Mike. I'm so bad with names. I'm awful. Mike, uh, I think Lewis. Was it Lewis? Lewis, John, and Lucy. And Lucy. Okay. So we are going to get moving pretty soon. And uh, I'll be reporting in as we go. Mount. Well, they're nice boots, Lucy. I forgot to zip them up. <laughs> <laughs> they're nice, though. <laughs> they didn't protect my feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a couple of nice toys there that I need as far as those cameras. Cause when it, my camera's going there around my neck, I don't get that good angle when I'm trying to paddle and look ahead. That way you can do it. That looks like a fancy one, doesn't it? When I was cutting for the cleanup, I dropped uh, my camera in the water for two seconds. And so um, it's off for repair right now. Can they fix it? They'll let me know on Monday. Well, you take such good pictures. Take it yeah. off yeah. As you can see, there's hardly any fill work. A lot of times on a river when you're in a swamp and you're lost in the swamp, you'll just say, well, I just follow that little flow and get down back to the river. There you go. Well, you know, you can't see in times like that. You don't know who's back there. You can be coming Yeah, there's some food for that, especially in duck uh, season working. And that is the tree of me this turn. Do what? That is the tree of me this turn. Yep. Ah, yes. So end up just keep right on going. Yeah, that goes up to Jones. Oh yeah, yeah. This is it. This is my green sanctuary. It's lovely. It is. That's why this right here is so cool. This is like blowing my mind. Look. Look at tubers on the lower green. Leave 
then this is to McGurk. This is to McGurk. Hey. Not lost yet. That's all right. As long as he keeps the map in hand, we're good. But they're not going to stop and ask for directions. I can guarantee you that. Maybe I'll mark that one. But I'll point out when we up here. We're going to ask him how far the wristband was. Loader has right away. Yeah. the way up to Indigo Flat and decided to come back this way. We didn't really know that there was a creek up there, so we decided to do it. And I did the so like, I, I mean, as I'm passing, I'm doing the adventure. Because he's over here, I'm like, okay, how far can I lean? Saw that spot. I did the con green one time, and that was cool. Did you see him sitting on the log? Just sitting there. So that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. I Lose them, we have to survive out here. And it's not going to happen with me, you know. Just telling you. It's not like, you know, I'm not a good contender for naked and alone, you know. Yeah, we'll, we'll die. <laughs> okay, now, I was in the all right, well, that's good. Does it count on you?
saw Lewis? Yeah, there's some more water. <laughs> I thought so, because it creek goes quite a ways. Yeah. There's even a tree marker. No, we're just right at noon time, so. New tables and chairs. We just tripped there earlier this year. That was just fabulous. Well, that, well, we went on Vanishy Creek last time. Yeah, that cool. Yeah. How do you know the area so well? I've traveled here a lot. I've worn out a bunch of sets of paddling prints here. <laughs> Is this your favorite paddle? This is a little bit, well, this area, but this is the first time we've actually come up this way. I've come back when you circle way around the Indigo Flats and you come back on this creek. But it was something different. A lot of people think, you tell them we're going to Sparkleberry Swamp, they think you're doing the same trip as you did last time. It's always different. Never the same, right? Oh, it seems like there's about 50, you can come here 50 days and still go somewhere different. Mm hmm And too, when the water level changes and the, you know, during the winter, everything's dark and brown, with no green. Straight ahead looks pretty open. It does. Yeah. Looks like the tape rock. So you going straight ahead? I'll follow you, man. Ah. <laughs> so far. I think we go in the direction of the tree. Very good. Don't you remember this tree I said right here? Don't you remember I said this is a left turn tree? Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. All the limbs were that way.
that's right, it's far away as I am. So everybody that's passing is, everybody that's passing is like enjoying my umbrella. Yeah, everybody's like, you got the right idea. It's hot. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to the heat. I am definitely a wimp when it comes to heat, so it helps. Lewis, we'll back up your story why you was out on the river so late. Uh, and Mike, there's your cloud. Oh, it's right now. Where's the moon? It'll be scattered. <laughs> What's the pretty head? Yes? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. First time I saw it, Yeah. Okay, well that was uh, one hell of a paddle. Um, I think we went 11 miles. It was really nice. I met some really nice, nice people. And um, it was just long and I got overheated a little bit in the middle when the sun came out. So uh, it's uh, it was just a really nice day. So uh, that's it.